Hello, I'm here with Craig Edwards after this afternoon's 2-1 defeat to Leatherhead. Uh, Craig is the new Kingstonian manager. Um, we'll talk about the, today's game first and then we'll show a bit more about long-term things and, and you particularly afterwards. So, um, well, first of all, today was a big six-pointer, something that if, if we'd have got the points, we could have got out of the relegation zone, but as it happens, the slide is continuing. Um, how do you feel it went today? Um, I was relatively pleased with the first half. I thought we controlled most of the game. Um, came out in the second half, and uh, it was in it a bit more, but I still felt pretty comfortable when we got a real sort of scramble goal. And the reaction to that told us we've got a few problems, you know, because um, there's obviously uh, a big lack of confidence in the side. Good football. It was that final ball. The, 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 the shot at the end was 
was just a little bit tentative, you know, now that, that, that'll be down to confidence. But um, yeah, our job would be really to instill, try and instill the belief in the boys that they are better than what, what their position uh, tells them, and they are. Uh, but only they ultimately can do that, you know, only they can sort of, uh, when they go along, stick their chest out, keep playing, get the person next to him playing, and have an influence on the people around you. You know, and, and not just let things happen. You know, that's, after the first goal, I thought we just let things happen. You know, it was a, a case of rolling on you, rolling on you, instead of taking the initiative, rolling your sleeves up, and, and starting to get right. You get in here, you do it. It did take him things a little, and uh, you know that'd be that'd be down to us to try and instill that in the boys. And uh, I hope they're hurting. You know, I've only been in the job for uh, two minutes. They should feel a lot more for Kingstone in and after.
that's how it's been. And, uh, but we've, what we've got here is what we've got. And you're confident this is a good enough squad to get out of this? You said earlier. Well, yeah, I mean, they, like I say, they, they were on the edge of the playoffs. They yeah. were, you know, um, they, they, they were a very, very good side. They're a very, very good bunch of players. But they've got to react better to going the goal behind. Now, whether that is just, you cannot accept that, obviously, the club are, are having an awful run. You know, I think it's two draws in 90 feet. That's a shocking run. But they're never going to get out of it feeling sorry for themselves. They're never going to get out of it dropping their chins. You know, they've got, they got to stick their chests out and say, right, well, I'm gonna, I don't care about it. I'm going to be there until the 95th minute. We must have that off of them. You know, and if we get that, they've got the ability to get out, no problem. You know, so I'm hoping, you know, if, if, look, as old as I said, I'll go home and look at myself in the mirror. I hope they do. I would be chomping at the bit. If I was a player now, I'd be chomping at the bit for Monday to come around to prove to these, uh, or to show to these people what I'm all about. I thought the support at the end was unbelievable for a club. You know, I mean, uh, we're in a position we're in to run their having, and, and they've given us a great reception afterwards. They owe it to those boys as well. You know, they owe, we all owe it to them. And, and I'll, I'll be doing everything I possibly can to turn things around Monday. I hope the players are. I'm sure they will be hurting. And coming in Monday, and with a, with a, with a point of proof. Two more quick questions. Um, I'm sure I'm sure I know the answer is already, but I'll ask it, and uh, you can try and avoid the cliche. But um, obviously, success is staying up at the end of the season. That's your goal. Yeah. Um, what is there talk about next season? Are you the permanent manager from from now on? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, I've, I've told you, you know, they're real gentlemen. They're, they're, I'd like to sort of well, I'm rendering my thanks to the welcome that everyone I've heard the club, from the supporters, to the board, the players, they've all been really, really welcoming. And um, you know, we, we, we had a brief chat about next year, but I said that uh, all I want to do is concentrate in keeping us in this division and then we'll talk again in the summer, that's the plan. You know, um, so, so that's, that's where we're at. Well done for not saying we take each game as it comes. So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a guarantee one. Yeah. That was my next line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, well, thanks for your time today. Um, nice to see you on Monday. Yeah, nice to meet you, boys. Thanks very much.